So, in order to do the actual structure of benzene, what they like you to be able to do is draw it. And again, this is a question that comes up a lot on the papers. So in the first A2 paper, you're always going to get a question on benzene. Generally, there's stuff to well, what are the properties of the Keckley structure? Now, how do benzene actually bond together? So, it's similar in a way to when we did alkene chemistry. Um, I come from the university, the pi bond in our um, alkenes didn't come up in this paper, did it? Okay. <laughs> right, so let's do a little recap. You've just phased out. So, alkenes. So, when we looked at alkenes, we said we've got a carbon carbon. And then we have uh, hydrogen electrons, well, uh, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen electrons. And then on each carbon, there is a P orbital. And we said the P orbitals overlap to give me a pi bond. P orbitals overlap. So, what can you remember what we called this? These little bits here. Is that the pi bond? Sigma. Yeah, that was the sigma framework. So that's how alkenes bond. So let's try and draw benzene now. Oh, just before we do, so when we do this, how many electrons are in this pi bond in total? In the pi bond, there are all bonds have. So over that one bond, there are two electrons in that pi bond. So let's try and do benzene now. Now this is where my artistic skills are severely limited, but we'll give it a go. I'm going to try and draw an edge on, which is the result. So, um, So I'm drawing my sigma framework here. So that's my C6H6 sigma framework ring. Like so. So onto that, I'm going to stick my P orbitals. So each carbon gets a P orbital. Colours kind of help. Unfortunately, you, you have to get used to drawing it without colours in the exam because you must only use black ink. How many times were you told that during the exam? <laughs> you must have read it out a hundred times. Um, you must only use black ink. Lemon pencils for that. It's when you're setting up three. You have to work out three different universes. Yeah. Awkward. 
this is one person as well. Just read it through one person. This is all for you. Okay, so I've got my key orbitals. Now, what do you notice about them? They are all vertical, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, what we could do, here, we overlap these two together, yeah? So these two could overlap together, so I'll just do a little line. Oh, and then those two could overlap. Oh yeah, these guys can overlap as well. And these guys can overlap. Oh, no. And then, and then, and then. So just draw a line linking all your key orbitals. Yeah, that's the look I was going for. But we can also do the same down below. So let's do that. All these. Probably a three marker, oh, and then you'd, it, you'd have to write it about that as well. Oh, oh you see, all used to be easy, like easy days of AS. But then they give you three marks for like a definition. How nice is that? Yeah, that's two marks. Oh, okay. So just one mark for definition? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, what we say is the P orbitals all overlap with each other. To form a ring of, now, how many electrons I got in this, so each P orbital has one electron. Of six, six electrons above and below the carbon. Right, okay, so, when we come to look at the reaction, this is where we need to kind of think, um, why is benzene different? So, what type of um, uh, attacking species is going to be attracted to the electron-rich benzene ring? Electrophile. Electrophile, yay, okay. Electrophile, remember, phile means low. Electro, electro, electrons. So electrophiles are going to be attracted to this. Will an electrophile be attracted more to that or to that? So let's have a look. In this, I have got two electrons over one bond. This, I've got six electrons over. Six bonds, so my electron density for benzene is. It's so per bond. Per bond. So, on average, one delocalized electron per carbon carbon. Whereas remember up here, there were two electrons in that pi bond. So if you give them the option, he is going to go, my electrophile, oh, benzene or an alkene. Whoa, I'm going to go for the alkene. Look at those lovely electrons there. So you kind of think, you kind of think benzene, oh, he's all these electrons, he's going to really attract electrophiles. 
but they're so spread out. This is like, yeah, it's not that positive. So, when we look at reactions, we will think about electron density, and that's a key thing that we need to uh, think about. 